So this is what it looks like three days post-op. And again, not everyone gets this like ridiculously bruised. Hey guys. Okay, I just left. I got my um, eyebrow transplant. I'm gonna give you guys a close up. It looks kind of gross right now because I have the plugs. You know, they didn't transplant actually actual hair. I got the plugs, the hair plugs. So if I go close, you can kind of see the plugs if you look at them. And my eyebrows are perfect right now. That's going to be um, tweaked, you know, once these start to grow. And I'm also going to come back for a second procedure so I can get more density. And during that second procedure, I thought there was a bug trapped in my car, but it's on the outside of the window. But that's when you're going to fine tune the, um, the shape and the evenness. So they're not perfect right now. But oh my god, you guys, that is going to be so weird to have hair. Like all, you can see all the little plugs in there. It looks like hair, but it's not hair. It's like plugs. It looks kind of gross. And the procedure was completely painless. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most painful, it was not even a 1. I'm not kidding. Like if you can um, go somewhere and get a wax, that's far more painful than this. This was like easy peasy. And also when they were... You know, they basically first poked holes in my eyebrows because you have to poke the holes first. And then once the holes are poked, they start implanting the hair. And when they were implanting the hair, I was completely painless. And it was a really cool experience. Everyone was friendly there. I had the documentary called What the Health on playing on their TV. They played reggae. So yeah, everything was cool. And I have to be super duper careful now for the next uh, four days at least because all these little plugs, little hair plugs, they're literally barely holding on for dear life. I mean, they will fall out if I bang on them or if I, I itch and I accidentally hit them or brush up against them, they'll, they will fall out. So I have to be super duper careful. They gave me free lunch here, so they were very nice. They treated me to lunch. I got, uh, I got some food from Panera Bread, but now I'm starving. I wanna go get some, uh, some Chinese food or whatever from the food court. So I'll see you guys there. This is so cool, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have eyebrows. I'm gonna have eyebrows again. Oh my God, this is so cool. Oh, and I, I forgot to say, the reason my eyebrows look dark is because they, they used a, a pencil in there, you know, cause they have to you know, outline the area where they're gonna put the plug. So the darkness you see is not, not here, it's just the pencil, the marker they used as a, a point as to where they're gonna implant the hairs, <laughs> in case you're wondering why my eyebrows are dark. So that's why <laughs> my eyebrows are super swollen and they're going to continue to swell for the next four days. So the swelling is not at its worst yet. <laughs> oh, and in case you're wondering how long this took, I got there at 9 a.m. and it's uh, 2 p.m. So it took 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2. I'm so bad at math, you guys. It's not even funny. It took about five hours. Yeah, overall, it was a very pleasant experience. So anyone who's... um foolishly overpluck their eyebrows like I have and are sick of having to draw their eyebrows in every single day, I wouldn't be scared to get this done. Because like I said, it was completely painless, so that was good. And oh no, you guys. Oh, I'm so sad. Unfortunately, you know, I have androgenic alopecia. All the women in my family have it, unfortunately. I'll post a picture of my aunt and, um, you know, she has all over thinning. Uh, due to the androgenic alopecia and um, he, Dr. Huebner, he noticed I have, I definitely have thinning, especially around the crown and I know it's from the androgenic alopecia. My, I have quite a bit of thinning around the crown and on the side, so it, it sucks. So um, he recommended I start using, uh, I forget what it's called, I'll post the name of it here somewhere because I forgot what he said. And he claims um, it really works, hopefully it works. I'm kind of uh, very skeptical about this kind of stuff. He doesn't sell it, he would, he's just recommending it, he doesn't earn a profit from it. And I'm gonna buy it because you know, I'm desperate. I don't want to end up like my aunt or my mom or my grandmother, they all look bold, okay? They have like all over like scary, like legit, serious, super duper thinning. And I don't want to end up like them. So if there is something I can do that doesn't involve a big pharmaceutical drug, I'd rather just do it. Some kind of helmet thing you put on or whatever. I'll make a separate video on it. Yeah, I got to the Boca Mall. They have- In 800 feet. Screw you, I don't need your help anymore. Screw you. 
I don't want you, I don't need you, get out of my life, thank you very much, you're annoying. It's talking the GPS. My plan is, I hope people see me, I scare them, they think I have some kind of disease with my weird looking situation and that they, they, they clear and they move and then I can get my food quicker. I should put a sign on my body and put um, contagious, stay a minimum of 20 feet away distance. <laughs> that way I can, you know, get my food because <laughs> this place is like a zoo. I don't know why. It's not even the season yet. The season in Florida doesn't start till like January, March. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm gonna go get some food. I'm starving. It's so cool. I feel I feel like a an abused um housewife or something. Like I'm gonna have bruises here, swelling. I look like a freak. But you know, one of the benefits to, I honestly don't give a rat's behind what people think about me. I really don't, and neither should you. The only thing you should care about is what you think of you, not what other people think of you, because the only thing that matters is what you think of yourself. <laughs> so that's what they say. Do you know where the food court is? Yeah, oh, that, oh, yeah, oh, thanks. Look at what I look like, you guys. I look like a freak. <laughs> oh my God, do you know what I just noticed, you guys? My arm. <laughs> My arm is covered in bruises. They're gonna think I'm abused or something. My arm is, that's not the only bruise. I have bruises all over me. They're gonna think I'm like abused or something. This is so here's what I look like the morning after I had the procedure. As you can see, um, I continue to develop more bruising overnight and uh, I'm definitely more swollen. So I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm like, yeah, definitely swollen. So. <clears throat> and again, my eyebrows look, you know, uneven. They're, they kind of look jacked, you know, jacked. <laughs> so, um, you know, when I go in for the second procedure, cause this is a two-step procedure, at that time, I'll make the tails a little bit longer. I'll even out the brows. I'll, I'll kind of perfect them at that time. But that's not until a year from now. But um, I'm happy to report I have zero pain. Like my eyebrows, I'm not supposed to move my, I don't want to move my forehead or um, or make that angry expression because I was instructed not to move my uh, my face, especially in my forehead area. And the, the donor site, to be honest, it's, no pain. I, I wouldn't even say it's aching. It just feels like someone grabbed a section of my hair and they're pulling on it. So I have like this feeling of tension, like, you know, someone's pulling, like I'm wearing my hair in like a super tight rubber band and it's just constantly pulling on my hair. But it's it's not, there's no pain at all. So this is a, a very, very easy procedure. I mean, it looks worse than it is to be honest. I'll give you a close up. And I don't know if you guys can see, um, the little, there's like tons of like tiny little, I don't want to touch them. Like it, you can't see the hairs cause it's just a plug and on this eyebrow. So yeah, so that's what I look like now. I, I'm looking better by the minute. <laughs> so this is what it looks like three days post-op. And again, not everyone gets this like ridiculously bruised. Some people don't get bruises at all. So this looks a lot worse than it really is. Like I'm in absolutely zero pain, you guys. I, I didn't take any pain medications or anything. This is what I look like eight days after the procedure. And as you can see, the bruising has improved tremendously. I mean, I still have it, of course, but in the next two, three days, it'll be completely gone. And I won't see the full results again, like I said, a year until a year from now. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how awesome the scar looks. It's, it's basically completely invisible. You literally have to like look for it with a magnifying glass. It's just, even when my hair was shorter, this is being filmed a month later, post-op, and you can see I'm gonna try and uh, zoom in. I'm zoomed in and you can see it's invisible. You, you cannot see the scar anywhere. No matter how much you look for it, you're not gonna find it. Even if my hair was much shorter in the back, 
So th that's awesome. So if anyone's interested in this procedure, don't worry about the scar in the back because you, it won't, you won't see it. <laughs> it's like, it's super, super narrow, little, little scar, no biggie. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the video off here. Um, I don't want it to get too long. I'm trying to keep my videos to be under 10 minutes long. Because you know, if it's too long, people aren't gonna bother to watch it. But anyways, I hope this video was helpful in some shape or form and that you enjoyed it. If you did, oh, please give it a exit thumbs right up. To exit 45, State Road 808, Lanes Road. And subscribe. Stay to the left, Lanes Road. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Last thing.